This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Okay? Visit BetterHelp.com silly today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash silly. Okay? Laughing with myself. That's the way I want to be. Laughing with myself. That's the brightest side of me. Everyone, hello from Japan! I'm in Tokyo right now. Um, I've been, I arrived Tuesday night, it's Saturday here. I arrived Tuesday night, 8 p.m. in Osaka. Um, my friend picked me up from the airport. Uh, we took the last train because I got in late. Oh, man, there's so many things swarming in my head. But I feel like I should just read my journal because my brain is going to... There, it's It's been beautiful. It's been beautiful. It's been amazing, eye-opening, soul-opening. No more other openings. Don't be dirty. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You guys. Um, okay. So. Hmm. Okay. So far, I've noticed I love a lot here. The quiet energy, the consideration for not overeating, greedy energy. Uh, they are respectful of nature and others, and I love how cozy everything is. I love this hotel. I was at uh, in Namba, Osaka, at a uh, nature hot springs. It was a, they call it Leocon, but it's spelled more like Ryokan. It's like a um, Japanese style hotel and the beds are, on, I mean, it was beautiful. It was perfect. Okay, but so continuing, I want to go in the onsen. They have onsens here, hot tubs, but I respected their no tattoo rule. You guys, Melissa is a tatted girl, so I did not go in. But there are tattoo-friendly onsens. I just haven't searched one out. Um, but it's okay. Maybe I still have time to go. Anyway, I am not hungry yet. I got a coffee downstairs and filled up my water canteen. There are a few things I want to get done today. Oh, yeah. I had to get a USB connector for this podcast because I forgot to bring mine from home. And more cash. Um, I'm going with Tom, my friend Tom, who was my old L.A. neighbor, um, and his co-worker, Mommy, to a castle today. Yesterday was awesome. I went with Yuko and Tom, Yuko is Tom's wife, uh, to Nala, which spelled like Nara. So uh, there are R's, our L's here. And we saw a temple there and a lot of deer that wander there, and you could feed them. It is so beautiful to see they only use what is needed. I'm learning. I want to drop this aggressive, pushy energy I carry on a lot of Americans. I see how the minimal use of things is being kind to Earth. I no longer want to grab extra Chipotle napkins for the glove compartment in my car, aka boogies, in case boogies happen. I'm noticing how soft and pretty sounding Japanese is. I was on the plane hearing the flight attendant speak, and man, I just felt calm. Even at the connecting gate at the airport, I heard the gate attendant speak in the intercom, and it was enchanting so much that I could have fell asleep and missed my flight, and I wouldn't have mind. It's just so soothing. Um, I love seeing the tiny trash can in my restroom. The fact that one towel is lent to people. Oh, and the fact. Okay. I want to try... Oh, never mind. I already did that. Um, I talked about the onsen, right. Um, I want to, want to wander a lot. I love how tatami flooring absorbs the sound and it's warm, naturally. I really admire this hotel. I was reading some reviews on the website, Google, and some people, man, got on my nerves with their reviews. Majority were all great, but 
one person, I just heard their voice because someone wrote, uh, mm, not enough room for me. I'm feeling very claustrophobic. And that's how I read it. I was like, you just sound like that. Um, I really relate to Japanese culture. The quiet energy the most. I'm a quiet, contemplative person. I am. So this is lovely. It's also great to see with this quiet what I want from life. Do I want to continue the path of noisy entertainment? Or do I want to choose more quiet, silly, calm things? I'm just, these are thoughts here, okay? This is what journaling's about. Um, okay, yeah, I still always want to perform. No question about that. You guys know. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking maybe I'll focus on cartoon show, my stand-up music, art. I don't know if I want to be on set again. I, I don't miss the fancy events, the press stuff. The watching myself on screen and my appearance. That's a lot. The world of acting and frankly, I don't know. Maybe I'm changing, man. I don't want to be on set with the weight of a film crew, a producer, director, and other actors and makeup people. I don't, I don't know. It's a lot of weight. Unless enough time has passed where I have uh, gained more knowledge, life, and craft expansion of talent to share. And I think the key, Melissa, is work on things with your friends. That's when it's fun. And it you could see it and you could feel it. So, guys, this is me talking right now. I want to create projects with friends. That's that's the key, you know. Okay, I think I may stay, step up in classes this year. Painting, music, art. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, this was yesterday. Saturday. Oh no, today. <laughs> I just wrote this this morning. The days are confusing, guys. Um, okay. Today I am in Tokyo. My plan is to record my podcast. Hello. Get a ramen lunch, then hit the art museums, Harajuku shops, before meeting with um, a, a girl named Azusa who's going to show me around. So yesterday I woke up at 7 a.m. and went to the Namba station, hopped on the train, I got real sweaty because I'm carrying two luggages and a backpack with me. Uh, I took the bullet train. I got a ticket at for the 9.45 a.m. train with the help of mommy. I said, this is the first time I was actually... Oh, this is the first time I was actually fine with, fine with this. They only had middle seats on the bullet train. And I said, hell yeah, that sounds fun. Come on, I'm in Japan. And uh, I noticed the first week I, oh, this first week, okay, guys, first week here, I bond my soul. I bond more with folks in their 50s and 60s. I really do. <laughs> I uh, enjoyed my first couple days with Tom, Yuko, and Mommy. I enjoyed having pancakes and teas with them. Yesterday, the bullet train left at 9.45 a.m., and there's no way you can be late. It leaves on time. So, I find my reserve seat in the middle. It's silent on the train, okay? I try my best to not make a peep with the snacks I brought on board. Soon, the two dudes next to me left after a couple stops. Then this sweet family of four asks kindly if I can move to the window seat, and I said, of course. Then, soon I began chatting very quietly with the parents. They had two cute little boys one probably four or five, and the cute little baby with a lot of belly and chunk, and I couldn't stop smiling at him. Soon, I got chatting about my journey of being in Japan, shared that I'm a, I shared I'm a comedian, and then she found me on Instagram and followed me, and she couldn't believe my followers. I think I have 302,000. Okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> they offered me a beer, and they brought snacks, and I accepted, of course, and we cheers together on the train. Then soon enough, I get to hold the little baby who kept giggling at me. Guys, he was the cutest little, ooh, so cute. Um, and I just felt just so much warmth in my soul. We get to Tokyo in a couple of hours. Then I meet with another um, acquaintance. Oh, I don't know. These pe There's just people along the way that are helping me out here. So 
it's too much to explain. So it's like a family member's friend that's out here from Columbia studying. Okay. Now, I spot her immediately because of her Colombian accent and uh, very loud, you know, and I, I was so used to all week the like quiet energy that I, I heard her and I almost got mad. <laughs> um, let's see. So, but she was so kind and helpful. Um, she met me at the train station. I treated her to lunch and we go drop off my stuff at the hotel. I take an hour siesta. Look, I have to guess. And then we hit it. We went to Shintuku Gardens. It was a light rain most of the day and night, but very pretty, I found. Okay, let me do my middle, uh, mid-roll ad right now. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Um, get to know yourself. Getting to know yourself can be forever. It's a long, lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Like me right now, guys, journaling. Hmm? Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. This is true. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule, baby. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. Cha-ching! I just pictured a license, like a badge. With, and, and you could switch therapists anytime for no additional charge if you're like, this person doesn't get me. Switch them. All right, so discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash silly today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash silly i am actually honestly no joke working on boundaries uh man oh man you know me i'm a people pleaser i want to say yes and i want to i don't like people disliking me it's such a problem even on the airplane coming here across from me you know was this older white guy and uh very serious face the whole way and i there's a part, there's just something in me. I'm like, I, I, I just want to connect and make him smile. That feeling, exi- it's, and I'm like, well, let it go. You don't even know this person. What is wrong with you? But anyway, so that is something I'm always, <laughs> but that's my thing. That's why I'm here. That is why I'm here. <laughs> okay, let's continue. This is so fun to read journaling with you. Okay, so I want to share it. This is, this is, this is good to talk about because it was in my head last night. Okay, so, oh yeah, the sakuras. So, sakuras, I'm saying it wrong, Saku, sakuras. Cherry, they're the cherry blossoms. And I'm right, I am here in the height of the season. So I'm taking tons of photos, which I'll share at the end of the trip. I'm trying to not be online too much. Um, so the garden was beautiful. It was just beautiful. Uh, and then, um, oh, we went to that area, I want to say, sh- Mm, what's the whole, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> Tokyo nightlife, it was, what's that area, mm. Shinjuku district, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, so, and that's where all the lights are, and all the shops, and, uh, it was, I mean, it's, it was amazing, um, so, she took me there, which was very cool, uh, we went to this area called Golden Guy, and it's tiny, tiny little bars, tiny doors. I guess in the past it was a, a red light district, um, but now it's just cozy bars, I guess. But uh, I think I'm going to go out there with some locals because it's just cozy. The doors are so tiny, and uh, there's one called the Open Book, and there's a bunch of books there in the bar, so I want to go to that one for sure. Okay, so then she asked me, Erica asked me what I'd like to do. And I said, mention, I mentioned karaoke. I was like, I, I think karaoke would be fun. Okay. Um, and then we meet Erica's friends. Immediately, I could feel this isn't my energy people. And that's okay, you know. Um, there's not a warmth to them. I almost felt like they didn't even want me to hang out with them. It was just kind of that energy. You know when you're a little kid? 
I think it's just a misfit energy. And I'm also shy with new people. I'm very, very quiet. I don't know what's the vibe. How do I joke around with them? Do they get me? You know, they didn't get me. Um, yeah, so I wrote that. It felt like the cool kids at school. Um, a guy and a girl who seem like they work and party and that's it type of life. Now, I don't know if that's their, I don't know anything about him, but that's the vibe I got. Um, the chick, I heard her say like, I just want to drink hard and party hard. Gym and party, gym and party. She said that a few times, gym and party. That's my life. And my thought was like, that's sad. Um, I hated karaoke with them. I did. You know why? Because they screamed every song. They screamed every song. Okay? There was no point in me holding the mic and singing because they screamed every song. And I was like, I, okay. Uh-huh. Um, at least we only paid for an hour. And it reminded me, thank goodness, I said in my head, I was like, it's only an hour, Melissa. It's only an hour to get out. Oh, it was also interesting, too, because they, they picked Nickelback. They picked Dolly Parton. And so I'm sitting there. They don't know who I am. And that's fine, you know. But I was just sitting there like, oh. These are these songs are Jolene and how you remind me are a big part of my life, <laughs> uh, but I didn't say anything and um, they sang and screamed to all of them. So that's just interesting. Um, I could see I don't have the party girl vibe. It makes me feel left out or a misfit when I hear folks talk like that. Like people that are open about like, oh, we're going to hook up. Like the people that are just like, oh, I think this chick was was telling Erica like, oh, I'm going to see my guy tomorrow. And she was like talking so loud. I'm like, yeah, for a couple hours. And then Erica's like, oh, that's that's enough time. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, that's that. These, oh, these are the types of people that start dancing, humping their friends without any music playing. I'm not that person. It's weird to me. It works for a lot of people. It's hot, sure. I, I, that's the type of person I, I don't really vibe with. I'm not saying I'm a dork, but, it, but if I try it, if I start dancing on you it's gonna be funny and, and silly which is fun but i sound like such a like <laughs> an old lady <laughs> whatever i've had this energy my whole life so anyway those people ain't my vibe okay even if i try oh i already wrote i already said that i texted my sister okay so i left hopped on the train and i was like Whew, back with myself I texted my sister. I miss her. She's in New York, and she is my best friend. Um, and I shared how I felt, and I said I just felt like I'd, I couldn't fit in, and it, I felt almost just like dorky, this feeling. Um, yeah, it's just like this, am I not living it right, you know? I know I'm living it fine, <laughs> but it was, you know that feeling of like, how come I'm not uh, as fun or something? But my sister said something really sweet. And I don't know, it might make me cry in a beautiful way. My sister texted me. That's why you're in the arts. And it me immediately made me smile on the train. And I felt safe immediately hearing that. Because she's right. That's where the outcasts are. It's in the arts. We're nerdy weirdos, you know. Um, and she agreed. That's how she feels too. And she's she said with pride, I love my dorky friends. And I said, me too. I love my dorky friends too. So, but there's nothing bad. I don't want to be being mean to Erica and her friends. I don't even know any of them. It was totally by judgment and energy. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that because I thought that was really sweet. And I, and I, maybe it can, maybe it helps you. If you feel similar to me, so you're not alone, okay? Um, anyway, today, I got time. Oh, yeah, it's 12 noon. I'm going to hit it. Today, I venture alone to art museums in the Harajuku district. <sighs> then I go, I have my two shows tonight at Tokyo Comedy Bar. Sold out. I'm very, very excited. Um, 
I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And, oh, I left out. I love the cute sounds here. The train station. Anywhere you are, all the sounds are like, I mean, almost video game sounds. Like, almost, uh, I'm trying to, I, I need to record it so I can share it with you. It's just like soft, cute sounds. Nothing's like, um, so anyway, I mean, probably in that nightlife district, the Shin, Shinjuku, that, that was pretty wild. But anyway, that's where I'm at, I am thus far. So today's Tokyo, and then tomorrow I head to Kyoto, which I'm very excited because uh, this coming week I'm going to a tea ceremony there and um, meeting again with Yuko and Mami. Uh, and I think Wednesday night I stay at a Buddhist temple. So I love it. Just know I'm having a really good time. And it's, yeah, big takeaway is I don't want to be a slob anymore. I don't want to be a cochina. I want to stop. Yeah, there's a lot of things. I, I'm just like scolding at myself in my head. But um, this is what traveling's about. It's learning about ourselves and others. All right, I'm going to start my day. You guys are the best. Have a great weekend. You rock. Okay? Bye. Laughing with myself. That's the way I wanna be. Laughing with myself. That's the brightest side of me.